All right, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You should be able to hear me. Okay. Gonna get things. Just trying to get things uh, sorted, I guess. You don't stream for a while, and then it just becomes all fun trying to get everything set up, I guess. Should be good to go. Should be good to go. Trying to trying to get my uh, microphone closer. I guess that should be fine. Y'all, is there any issues with how loud I am? Urban Palicorn, Yochim, how are y'all? Yo, Chim, have I said that name correctly yet? I know I always have an issue with trying to say your name. Anyway, let's go ahead and transition. It's over. We're not playing as Poland. We are playing as the United States of America. We are still trying to get our deficit down. Getting a lot of debt. Oh, oh, mm. Just cramped myself. Um... I need to work to uh, start getting my viewership back. My dad has been in a hospital for a minute, and that has caused my channel to somewhat slump, unfortunately. Sorry, subscribers are down, viewership is down. Um, so hopefully we get a good amount of viewers on this, on this stream. It is about evening. So, I mean, should be getting, you know, a decent amount of people. So, I'm also going to be working on uh, the Federative Republic of Brazil. I'm going to try to get uh, one or at least two episodes. At least one episode. I'm probably going to try to work on uh, two episodes tonight. Um, and then those will be up in the next couple of days. So, um, do look forward to new episodes of the Federal Republic. We're going to try to get back onto our uh, regular, regularly scheduled programming, essentially. So, I do apologize again. My dad has been in the hospital. He had a major heart surgery, and it is it has just been a hard week, hard two weeks um, for me, so... Just trying to get things in order and um, dealing with that. I'm gonna go to FBI. Fake moon landing, Chinese creation of COVID. We're gonna do campaigns on all of these. Nelson, how are you? We have riots just across the border in Mexico. Imagine having good relations with Syria. good that our inflation is kind of staying steady and our growth is a little steady it's just that we're trying to raise ourselves out of this debt right now 
it's just becoming a little difficult. So if I create too much, you know, industrial pollution tax or financial transaction tax, we could send ourselves into a recession and we don't want to do that. So I'm going to increase the financial transaction. We're going to slowly creep that one up. Our agents that have infiltrated this organization confirm that. Yeah, let's start doing anti-terrorism in India. Try to get, try to get India on a coalition and sign a security arrangement with them. That would be good. Oh no, it's cop! It's cop time. It's begun. It's funny how Cop 27 is, you know, acts Nations normal. Cop 28, it always kind of bugs change. out on the, the UN on the thing. CCC, which will start in the next few hours. As in previous years, they are renewing their pledge for success and have high hopes in the new legislation, which could bring their neighbors to the table. The fact is that negotiations have already begun well in advance of the summit, whether with UN emissaries or between heads of state and the future of CO2 emissions for each country are already forecast. Moreover, other resolutions are expected to be passed at the same time, especially the Green Fund for the Climate, intended to help developing countries in their energy transition. All right, so we're gonna increase our commitments to about let's do 70 billion dollars and then we're gonna keep our object objectives right now well actually by 2030 we're gonna be at 3500 we're gonna be at 3500 and a carbon neutrality by 2050 so I need to go global warming up and our objectives. We are, are on the mark. So let's go over to environments, go to construction. Let's do 25,000, that'll be $20 billion doing uh, fans we're gonna try to get that up to about a million <clears throat> oh look at that uh, Ukraine apparently built the nuclear plant outside of Kharkiv I guess the uh, nuclear disaster that occurred um, after or during the war um, I guess that is gone. There is still so much damage right now to so many cities and areas. The Ukrainians, even about a year later, are still recovering from this, uh, from the war. Wait, 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 wait. I like how you can change the name of the city whenever they're under construction. It's an A. So how are you guys doing? If you guys are watching this, go ahead and leave a like, leave a like and subscribe. That helps. That helps us. Um, I'm trying to get back on a roll with my YouTube channel. I know you guys have been missing my content and I left during such a period of really good growth. And and I really didn't want to do that to you guys. So again, that's why we are coming back. We're going to make more content for you guys. The preparation. Our infiltrated agents. Our agents that have infiltrated. Yo, I thought you were going to do something messed up to Ukraine, but I know you wouldn't do that. <laughs> what do you think I was going to do? Oh, you thought I was going to, like, uh, make up a disaster or something like that? No, it was just, uh, yeah, attack, extent, very large scale. Very large scale. Uh, 
Um, give me one second. Um, group movements at the Russian border. Poland is concentrating armies near Russia. Favorable regime change in Bhutan. Unfavorable change of regime in Switzerland and Fed Cup. I think in uh, Belarus, you're also going to come over here and we are going to embargo advertising in belarus internet services will come down um we will also ban telecom operators from operating in we will also ban tourism to Belarus and numerical networks and infrastructures will cease. Thirty nine thousand thirty nine thousand cases of COVID in the United States. Zero cases in Germany. They lost two hundred thirty thousand people. Russia is still having major issues with COVID. China, 173 cases, 641 in Kazakhstan, 190,000 cases in Japan. What about Taiwan, 102? They've lost only 1,000 people. What about Japan? They have lost 402,000, and we have lost 1.7 million. <laughs> Bill has been Are there any under construction right now? No. Version seventy eights. I really need to think about performing some austerity because really I I never really have this issue. Whenever I play the United States now I just get randomly attacked by Russia in 2023 and 2024. Uh, I, I want them to attack me. I will I will unleash hell upon the Russian Federation if they were to do that. Overseas arms embargoes, import and export of arms to the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan. And then in Afghanistan, we will also come over here. We're going to ban import and export of biotechnology, computer hardware. Great public bionics. Video games. How big is my sector? $25 billion. Yeah, you just end up nuking every city and then they give you $5 billion and the war is over. <laughs> uh, 
Um, synthetic fibers, those will be banned. Our government informs our, our services inform me that there is an opportunity to. Are you watching the primary? Let me actually take a look at that. I actually was not South Carolina primary. How many people are watching? Eight people. Come on, we gotta up those numbers, lads. Polls close in South Carolina. There's also a election in Texas 34. Nevada is having a governor, governor uh, primary in South Carolina first for um, I haven't been paying too much attention, especially recently, to some of these primaries, so I can't really, you know, give my analysis on this. Um, so I, except, you know, maybe Henry McMaster, that was probably an obvious choice for the people. Election forecast. I don't think I've seen your channel. We're going to go to the next year. I think we're going to deal with a presidential election. Company tax 15. Should we just eliminate the company tax? No, because I really want to... The whole country is preparing to join I really want to... This occasion. I really want to, uh, to sign some... Uh... Free trade agreements. Seven... 87 billion dollars that maybe should pass no what is this yes davis cup a court okay drug trafficking eliminate the head of state of israel so spicy you're not gonna order an evacuation carbon nanofiber has been discovered by the people's republic of china Airline. India offer rejected. No! How much aid are we giving India? Well, let's give them $12 billion. Start increasing our commitments to India. Should have evacuated, I guess. Let's see. Military, economic, strategic. Strategic. Here are my strategic allies. We're actually doing better with Malaysia, so we can possibly get them to join our coalition. But most of Southeast Asia, um, somewhat on our side. Myanmar, inauguration of an airbase, hurricane, Russia information transmitted, antiviral treatment for COVID-19 has been discovered, even though we already had it. 107 dead from the hurricane that just hit Florida, and favorable regime change in Madagascar. So we can actually get the Madagascarans on our side. That'll actually give us pretty good access to the Indian Ocean, so a little Increase our commitments over to India or uh, Madagascar by two billion dollars. That actually worked. And we will send over a free trade agreement to Madagascar. Let's sign a reciprocal commercial contract. Lower tariffs by 50%. A simple contract kind of gets them in our trade area. <laughs> Thailand, Thailand, um, let me see. Eh, yeah, they, they kind of dislike us. They pretty much dislike us at this point. Authoritarian military, yeah, that's why. It's mainly because they have an authoritarian military power, uh, government and power. We're center left, 
are like on near opposite ends of the spectrum and and it's uh that they're uh, basically a dictatorship 22.1 22.9 we really need to get our gdp up if we don't get our gdp up china's going to overtake us in the gdp field can you guys hear me okay should you guys be able you guys should be able to hear me okay We're going to lower employee social security payments. And they start protesting. He's... Don't need yep. radiance. Military can be proud. Nope. Get him to vote for the bill. The theory... 31,000 cases in the United States. inflation rate about one percent no two percent three one three percent three point zero one percent zk how are you mike cool dude how are you triggered by service how are you election forecast how are you mole mongo mongcho how are you the prepper mexico is just unstable right now 30 percent approval Alberto de Albuquerque. What happens to the Brazil series? Um, again, uh, I I haven't been able to uh, post as much or even you know be around on YouTube. Um, uh, mainly because my dad has been in a hospital. However, he is starting to get better. Um, so we. Um, so I I I, I, I that's why I wanted to stream today. Just to kind of say, hey, I'm still here. And um, I'm also going to be working on at least one episode of the Federative Republic tonight. And then um, I'm I'm going to shoot for two. But if I can't, then I'll obviously make make another one next week. Um, or I'll have one ready by next week. Because I want to do it on a weekly schedule. Because I'm pretty sure you guys have, you know, I, I, I do see that you guys like uh, these episodes. So, um, hopefully when I do post again, you know, I get the numbers that I was getting because like the first two episodes of the Federal Republic of Brazil, we're getting a lot of views and I'm really hoping that YouTube still puts me in the algorithm because, um, uh, I've been away for a little bit. Um, so... Um, again, it's because my dad has been in a hospital and I've been having to prioritize that. Your country is much more too powerful for us. We must re we risk becoming too dependent on your economy. Darn. A lot of smaller countries don't want to touch you. Gabe Vogel, how are you? 
Don't tell me I lost the live stream again. What do you mean? I'm not ending it yet, if that's your question. I have a free trade agreement with uh, South Korea, right? I don't. No, I do. Contract. Why is it contract? Well, we upgrade that to a global economic treaty. And upgrade our agreement with Turkey to a global economic treaty. Usually when I finally click the live stream, the stream is already over. No, I'm streaming for a good, you know, 30 more minutes to an hour. Look at my debt reimbursement. We really need to lower my deficit. Where's your boy? Where's your boy Rainwater whenever you need him? Georgian membership application. Yes, please, Georgia, join our alliance. We would love to have you in. NATO, please, Georgia. Everyone needs to accept them. Everyone must accept Georgian application. Our, ag Our agents based in that territory in coordinate. How can you tell it's a PG video? Fifty percent deficit. <laughs> Oh, I missed you, Corbin. Our services are... Let's go to energy... But transportation. I banned... I banned uh, Russian oil and gas, and I'm still... Like, it's... I, I honestly expected there was going to be a, a, a skyrocket of a, a fuel pricing. Failed. It's because of our relations. Oh, yeah, that's why. How can you tell it's a PG video? WTO, WTO kicks them out. <laughs> termination date 2028. Do they actually have termination dates now? No. How can you tell it's a PG video? 10,000 free trade agreements. God, I'm still loving the free trade agreement option. I also formed this. It's called the Indo-Pacific Economic Fra Framework. It's actually a real-life organization that President Biden, Biden uh, negotiated. What's the global price of fuel? The... Uh... Da, 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 da,
Do I have a free trade agreement with Taiwan? I do not. Let's go. Where's my uh, reform? One one, of course, it's bugged. The population affected by the disaster is in a very precarious situation. Things are looking up. So let's see what the reaction was to that. So President of Taiwan has accepted our our uh, free trade agreement, but I also want to check Taiwan presidential. You have an election in fourteen days. It's a shame the game doesn't give you any other way to encourage electric cars besides increasing fuel and carbon taxes. Eh, I mean, you can also do it via subsidies, which is usually what I do. By the way, subsidies do still work. I've actually tested them. They take a lot longer for them to really show up in your numbers now. Um, so... So if you uh if you actually look at them, they actually take maybe a couple of more months before they really start to show up in your in your production. What is this industry doing? Twelve billion dollars, hundred and nineteen million dollars in profits. I don't mean supply, I mean a demand for them. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah. I mean, send your suggestions over to Everson. They've been pretty good about about uh putting suggestions in here. They put like a dozen of my suggestions. Whoa, shit. Wait, no, never mind. Um uh you're not obligated to do it right now. I'll ask you again later if you refuse. It is excellent. There is no time. Do you want to present yourself as a candidate for the Democratic Union, Mr. President? You're not obliga obligated to do it right now. So that's the cool thing about this. In the 2022 edition, in whenever you get this, uh, whenever you get this notification, it will give you the obligation to say, if you refuse, I will ask you again whenever everything comes up. So I'm going to go ahead and refuse this. Because for one, I also really want a different candidate. I'll serve it. Is that public finances? Twelve seventy nine growth just reset, and it's up at eight point nine nine percent. What does that compare to Chinese GDP? Twenty two, twenty three. Yeah, our, our GDP just. Scaled skyrocketed by like a trillion dollars yeah we're we're actually at 8.99 percent existential crisis in do you wish to send in the army to disperse the demonstration i don't want to send any army i just want to send the cops in make an official meeting with kosovo and elite leaders sure because i have troops there does that make sense Give aid. Let's give him a billion. Or trade relations with Kosovo. Ten billion dollars. Economic, really. We can lower some trade barriers. Um, I think they seem to be You did not do anything to appease the demonstrators, and they have contaminated the whole country with their ideas. 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. that have the vote was held and the reform get deposed no never why is a sit-in just blowing up my popularity right now What happened? I swear to God, if I die in the next couple of minutes. Aiden shot at dawn. <laughs> oh no. We are waiting your What is going on? game probably Aha! Yay, I don't have to risk sending the army in and just screwing the pooch. I'd be happy. Most. We have subdued. I understand the disappointment, even the resentment felt by the protesters, but today. I officially ask them to return home for the sake of appeasement. As soon as this is done, the government will take responsibility for investigating and responding to their demands. And all of this happened because I, inc I increased taxes on the rich. thought Kosovo didn't exist in this game, but okay. No, Taiwan and Kosovo do exist. So Kosovo does exist, and Taiwan 
does exist. So I'm pretty sure this game isn't available for sale in Serbia or or um, uh, China. <laughs> Don't they have like a Chinese version that they release? Um, other controversial states. Palestine actually exists as a state entity. It's not an occupied. Well, government is Palestinian autonomy. Government investigated their own policies. I see no problem. <laughs> it's a political issue. Taiwan number one. Let's go. Yes. And Israel. Extreme right. Hell yeah! Oh no! Oh no! Uh, I don't know why the far right tends to take power in in a in a Israel. She plays Kosovo one time and integrate it in the European Union, United Nations. Not a part of any soup uh, multinational organization, are they? Yeah, they're not a part of the European Union. Yeah. I can, uh... Yeah, I can, uh... Do that. That'd be cool. They're not a NATO member. That'd be a interesting challenge. Kosovo EU gameplay. Actually, the game starts with the far right in Israel. Really? Many people. No! No! <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Oh. They call it a poosh. The fall of this administration is a result of a sit-in demonstration the violence from which spread across the country. There was no... There was no violence. It was just Washington. Bruh. Are you kidding me? Now we're the military leader. What is he? The independent party. Yes. All right. We're doing this. Please. Cut off all internet access. Ever some gay men's are amazing. <laughs> yeah. The national blackout strongly affect economic activity, although businesses are more or less getting getting by now. This situation cannot continue indefinitely. Mr. President, all internet connections have been suspended. The only ones that are operational are networks reserved for the functioning of the state and public services, as well as private connections for the high dignitaries of the country. Use of martial law allowed the country had the army to anticipate the opposition's movements. Martial law, you mean the internet blackout? Our info. Your politics are on the. Back to the 1950s. Everyone's gonna have to go outside. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh god. I hate this. In these grave times, the primacy of the state and the law must be vitally affirmed. Therefore, in the interests of safety and welfare of all, I have decided to declare a state of emergency throughout our nation. Watch that, watch that uh, crime level just tank. You know, state of emergencies are actually not the worst idea. Breach of the free trade treaty with Brazil. What happened in Brazil? With the Philippines, South Korea! No! What's that? The conservative right has literally just took power and now they're like ending my free trade agreements? So please define the level of internet censorship. General, I don't worry about what I'm doing. Respect for privacy. Fuck you. Syria? Hell yeah! The epidemic has almost stopped spreading. Yay! Budget rebalancing. Since the epidemic is now behind us, we're given a period of 18 months to get back roughly to the budget deficit we had in early 2020. This will assess every month. And potentially lead us in an extreme situation to state bankruptcy, which would end, which would would they decide to permanently end all loan offers? Which I remind you, we are what allow us to run the country every day. Let's see what the new deficit is. Uh, 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 <laughs> oh, did you guys miss me? Does it tell me what price of air oil barrel OPEC 73. Is it our lower yet? What is my... Uh, so how am I supposed to know what my original deficit was? Also, look how much money I am borrowing from myself. My god. $508 billion. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end this. Classic PG run bankruptcy by 2024. Thank you so much, Corbin, for the $5. If you guys want to support me, if you guys want to support me, go ahead and donate to this stream. Here, having a full all my work is being undone feeling you get when you fuck up on Crusader Kings 3, but in an Everson game. Uh, uh, we're gonna try so uh, Kosovo right now. British pound, the yens, the rubles. You can do rubles? What the fuck is a currency of... Why is rubles in here? Anyway. The game that predicts the future. You know how many times I predicted the future in this game? 
so many times. My room is almost set up now. Um, basically, I finally have my studio set up. Um, just kind of getting everything kind of squared away. Uh, setting up a couple of... Uh, um, setting up a couple of things. I'm thinking I'm gonna do a room tour. Oh, shit. Yeah, we're not gonna join the European Union. I think we have good relations with literally everyone. Yeah. For some reason, two of the Benelux countries don't want us. And the Balkans just fucking hate us. Imagine you just cheating as Kosovo and taking Serbia. Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. Very shitty start. I, I know, right? <laughs> I'm happy Superpower 3 is happening, so am I. How about we reform... How about we reform Yugos uh, Yugoslavia under the Kosovo flag? I've never played Kosovo or... Yeah, I've never played Kosovo. Let me see what their stats are. So... Okay, so we have... 2.9 billion 2.5 billion dollars in budget. We have a 4.92% budget deficit. We have a 2.3% structural deficit. We have a debt servicing of 1.15%. We have a public debt of 25.74%. That's good. Um quarter of our quarter of our economy being debt, I mean, that's healthy. Um we have 2.3 billion dollars of public debt and we make 14 million dollars off of our nationalized sectors. And then at taxes, we have the value added tax, 14.7%, $715 million. So most of our money is coming from the VAT, the income, the wealth tax, the inheritance tax, the real estate tax, the auto visual tax. Um, and then it kind of. And we also make $165, $227 million off of the company taxes and employer social security payments. Um, industrial pollution, highway tolls, then we also get 14 million from nationalized sectors. We have tax, tax on the businesses worldwide. We have uh, custom duties, $2.28 million, and donations from other countries, $326 million. So of our total amount of money, $326 million, we are making total income, $2 billion, uh, $150 million. Legislation creation, we can make vehicle registration, tax on internet access, tobacco tax, uh, deforestation tax, carbon tax, tax on the plastic using, tax on plastics. Um, we can also have all of these. Real estate, we don't have tax exemptions. We do have tax exemptions on charitable donations, and we do we do have tax exemptions on uh, war veterans. And then tax amnesty we do not have and then we have regular and repressive tax investigation laws army we have 200 2500 career soldiers with 800 in reserves and seven commandos we pay them 500 dollars every month you have three missiles you have eight tanks and we have nothing else we have just zero military power. And we have no allies. Well, actually, we could sign agreements with Albania and Northern Macedonia for protection. And then we actually also have about 40,000 US troops that are stationed in our nation. Camp Bonsteel and Camp, Camp Monteef. So we do have protection from the United States because again they have like 40,000 troops stationed here so farming we make 
$641 million in sales, $43 million in profits throughout the farming sector. Um, production, sales, not giving me anything. $350 million. Yeah, it's not wanting to work with me on all activities. I guess because it's so minimal. Uh, services. We have $8.8 .8 billion in sales, $2.8 billion in profits. That's a productivity index of 39%. Okay. Interesting. Screw you, Russia. Actually, I can just stop trading with Russia because I'm not a part of any organizations. So if I wanted to... So I'm a part of the ICC, apparently. Apply to become a member. I want to join... NATO. Apparently Jordan wants to meet with us. Come on, NATO. NATO, let me in! Let me in! If the Benelux will even allow me. Benelux, Italy, especially Hungary and Czechia. Creation of a coalition. What's our parliament? Oh, we are about part of the social front. We just barely have under a majority, but we could call for new elections. Are we a president? We are a prime minister, so we are a parliamentary system. When is our next election? 600, 769 days. They're going to instantly reject you. Plan for youth. Our country's youth needs places for exercise and stimulating activities destined to open them to the world. We must build more sports fields, recreation centers, multimedia libraries. If we are not careful, these young people will become embittered before they reach. Embittered. Become embittered. Good morning. Good morning. I didn't, I didn't come empty hand. In fact, I wanted to hand you this and economic contract, which I think will be beneficial for both our nations. Animal welfare, a priority. Fuck you. I have a G. What the fuck makes us a G? Animals. No regulation on animal welfare. <laughs> Hunting, balance, okay. And then list prohibitions. <laughs> Oh, man. Wait, wait, wait. There's no dog fighting. It's literally... There's, like, such a reduced list. What happened? I guess we don't... I guess those don't... don't those do not apply to us? We don't... Damn, I have no cock fighting or dog fighting that I can legalize. I like cut G. <laughs> but I do. Possession of marine animals at aquariums. I don't even have a fucking coastline. Ritual slaughtering, chicken slaughtering, battery farming. And I'm deforesting right now at 0 0.001. I like to cut G. Our fellow. Magic cock and. Dog fighting. Wait, what? Wait, what? What? EU? How the f- What? Wait, 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 wait. Why am I a part of the Eurozone? Am I, is, am I, am I, am I blind right now? Why am I a part of the Eurozone?
Kosovo and Euro. Kosovo adopted the Euro as its de facto currency in 2002, despite the territory not being a member of the Eurozone or the, Pop or the European Union. This succeeded the use of German marks from 1999. Oh. So I'm in the Eurozone, but I'm not in the Eurozone. Which that applies to Montenegro and Kosovo. I did not know that. Interesting. During the disintegration of the Yugoslavia in the 1990s, Kosovo unsuccessfully attempted to gain independence. In 1998 and 1999, the situation ex ex escalated with the Kosovo War. Kosovo declared independence on February 17, 2008. As of September 4, 2020, 112 out of the 193 United Nations member states have formally recognized uh, the Republic of Kosovo, which 14 have since been withdrawn. Notably, 22 out of 27 member states of the European Union and 22, 24 out of 28 states of, the, of uh, NATO have recognized Kosovo. Serbia refuses to recognize it. And before the establishment of the United States, United Nations interim administration mission in, in Kosovo, Kosovo was bound to Yugoslav monetary policy and the Yugoslav dinar. However, wartime inflation and tensions with the Federal Republic of Yugoslavia have since discredited the Yugoslav dinar. As a result, uh, many prefer to use and hoard foreign currencies <laughs> instead of relying on the dinar. And then the most frequently used foreign currencies were the Albanian Lek and the German Mark, although the US dollar and Swiss franc were widely used. And then in the immediate post-conflict period, other currencies, especially the Deutsche Mark, were widely used along the Dinar. In September 1999, the United Nations produced a regulation accepting the use of other currencies. This, this recognized the status quo. Yugoslav dinar was never officially withdrawn from its circulation, but it was used, but its use was not encouraged. It was widely the dinar, Serbian dinar, or what can continue to be widely used in northern Kosovo and Serb enclaves throughout Kosovo. And then Kosovo switched to the euro on January 1st, 2002. Deutsche Mark remained with legal tender in Kosovo until March 9th, 2002. Change to the euro was achieved in cooperation with the European Central Bank and national banks in the Eurozone. By December 2001, about 100 million euros in cash was front-loaded to the Banking and Payments Authority of Kosovo. Kosovo does not mint any coins of its own. No country has withdrawn the recognition of Kosovo. That's Serbian propaganda. Um, I'd have to look at that as well. Kosovo. Recognition. So it says that Guyana. Um... So it says Suriname, Sierra Leone, Ghana, Togo, the Central African Republic, Madagascar, Lesotho, and Papua New Guinea all recognized Kosovo, but then withdrew their their uh, their recognition. The only nations right now. So this is as of September 4, 2001, 2020. It's funny because Afghanistan says that they recognize them, but I'm pretty sure. I don't I don't I don't know how. Uh, uh, international recognition has gone with the Taliban in power.
Guys, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe. Help the channel out. Taliban has no seat in the United Nations. They are. They are a member state of the United Nations, but their government is not recognized by the United Nations. The Islamic Republic of Afghanistan is still in charge. <clears throat> um, yeah, no. How the heck does that work? It's that's called international politics. So, so like I'm pretty sure uh, Eversim can help us out here. So we have non-members which does include kosovo and palestine and taiwan and then all the others that you see right here these are member states so you can see this is as of the 2022 edition of baron revolution afghanistan is a part of the united united nations but again the united nations does not recognize the government that is in power in afghanistan I have really good relations with Algeria. I like how I have good relations with Sierra Leone, but they don't recognize my independence. Great transportation. The situation Jam. <sighs> may have a negative impact on the economy. If businesses cannot access their raw materials and dispatch their goods in a timely manner, the whole national economy will be impaired. In short, it's imperative to act before the transport problem brings down our GDP. So with that, I think that wants me to come over here and say, okay, build more... Uh, I guess an airport? You know what I really want is like international financing. So if you don't have the money and don't want to expand your deficit, just ask other countries to finance it for you. You have to have like really good economic relations with those countries. You know what? Let's see what happens whenever I sign a free trade agreement with the United States. What are my relations? Seriously, negative twelve. As we, as we do every year. Trash! An underestimated world menace. Algeria does not recognize Kosovo. What? It literally says. Wait. Do not rec. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, they don't. Spain doesn't recognize Kosovo and in independence. God damn it, Spain. Spain is like the only... Greece doesn't recognize them. I know I, some of y'all are just like, dude, you don't know anything about Balkan politics. I don't. I don't. The only thing I know about Balkan politics is the 1990s. That's it. Hungary does recognize Kosovo and GPS4, they have the worst relations. Oh. 
Why do I have such bad relations with Serbia, though? I don't get that. That's, that's a mystery to me. Whoever updates the game's more focus on the Balkans. Especially basically a battle royale zone where it's currently under a ceasefire. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that was the best representation of Bal of the Balkans I have ever fucking heard. That was amazing. That was great. <laughs> I'm sorry, I gotta pin that comment. I gotta pin that comment. <laughs> God damn it, America. Trade volume. Fuck you. I want my money. <laughs> what? What if Serbia was Kosovo? Hang on. <laughs> what about the pre I'm about to piss off a bunch of Serbians real quick. Kosovo. Responsibility within the conflict. 100. Pow. Whoa, whoa. Led by the head of state. Terminate the conflict as his winner. Look at that balance of power, lads. Kosovo. Let's fucking go. Let's go. Let's go. The, we didn't even have to send troops into there. We just... <laughs> Ask Olaf Scholz for a trade agreement. <laughs> oh my god, I am like treading so many lines with my Balkan subscribers right now. <laughs> I'm gonna piss off a lot of people. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna get so much hate. Oh, I need to stream more often. <laughs> this is making me feel so much better. I've been having such a shitty week. <laughs> and the, oh. <laughs> I, want, I, want, I want my new borders. <laughs> zero dollars is the hole. And zero people died. People start hitting me on subscribe button. The creation of the SDM terrorist group. <laughs> Maintain limited troops in a new territory after our mil limited our, our military victory. We have confiscated enemy equipment. A certain number of our troops have retained at the bases and conquered territory, but it remains quite limited. Most of our combatants have rejoined their families at home. At their home base, if you wish, we can always order to transfer of additional soldiers to these new bases. What? Oh. -ho. <laughs> oh, oh. Hang on. <laughs> Just got a shit ton of reserves. <laughs> oh, fuck. This is um, the battle royale commences. Um, um, um. Where's Republika Serbska? Where is it? I want my Republika Serbska! Serbia, remind Kosovo UN! <laughs> Una reverse card! <laughs> oh, should we invade Hungary? Wait, should we invade Albania? The, the, the grand... 
Kosovoan Albanian Union. It's just got eight percent. I just got eight percent in approval for unifying Kosovo and Serbia. I have a really stupid idea, and it's going to take me like 20 minutes, but it's going to be fucking funny. Try reforming Yugoslavia's Kosovo challenge. Jihadist caliphates. I'm, I'm thinking either I just reform Yugoslavia first, and then like afterward, I just take a screenshot of just the unified Europe under Kosovo in control all of mainland Europe. <laughs> you were missing one vote. Mm. Or who it was. I'm gonna post this onto the the on the Steam, and I'm gonna piss off so many, so many people. Hmm, Montenegro, you looking pretty sexy right now. Montenegro has the worst quality flag of any. Recreating late 1990s Serbia. <laughs> the Federal Republic of Yugoslavia. Oh my god, I have a video idea. I'm just gonna do, I, just like the pinned, pinned comment says, I'm just gonna do a fucking battle royale. I'm gonna turn off Fog of War, and then I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get every single country in, in the, in the Balkans, in former Yugoslavia, and they're just gonna go at it. They're just gonna go nuts. the 90s all over again. Oh. That was a good laugh. Boom. Republic of Northern Macedonia. That's about... Hmm. Hmm. About to look some fat borders. 
then go to popularity. That at a hundred. Hungary, I'm coming for you. Albania integrates. Colonized country under control. Colonized. Nominates a commanding officer to lead the vanquished country, and the two countries are thenceforth linking each other by military agreements. The vanquished country conserves its economic and military independence and the control of its armies now acts as an ally. And a colonized country under control, the conquer nation will remain its own state, but its governing will pass entirely to the conquering nation. I like that. Integrated. Those reporters remind me of something. What does it remind you of? See how bit fat my army can get in a minute. Mmm. Mmm. Stop it! Stop it! Oh, fuck. This year, we have been fighting against the record melting of ice caps during the summer. Prior to the year 2000, their surface area in the summer was 7 million square kilometers. Last what happened to the ice caps while I was reforming Yugoslavia? We have subdued... Nuclear fission. Army, 67, 208,000 in reserves. Energy shortage, but there's a TV. <laughs> uh. Production of electricity. We're going to produce 200. I don't have to really worry about it. Oh. How many people will this piss off? Tell me. Tell me how many people this will piss off. All right, Europe, I'm coming for you. The hell did I did I come into? <laughs> Hang on. I'm going to change I'm going to change this. I'm going to change the title. Italy doesn't look happy. I wonder why. MDA. Let me see what my terrorist groups are. Whoa! Whoa! Huh. Huh. Croatia, Albania, national popularity. They have no heads. <laughs> Liberate my 
hang on. Hang on! <laughs> oh no. Oh god. Where's where's the option? Where's the option? Where are you? Foreign. Ban. No, there's a uh, unions. There's literally a way for me to ban like Serbs from my from from my country. Associations, political parties. How big is this economy? $118 billion. Look at my borders. I love that. How big is my army now? 1,600 tanks. I actually confiscated eight frigates. Negative tariffs can help, help lower inflation, I think. I haven't tried that. Should I take Italy? Should I take Greece? It's our military power. The mito, mighty Yugoslav Navy. No, it's the Kosovo and Navy. We're not Yugoslavia. This ain't no Yugoslav stream. This is a Kosovo stream. And I have a lot of terrorists. Organizations. The media. <laughs> sects. I have no sects. The title. Oh, yeah, the title. Fuck. I'm going for you. I'm coming for you, Bulgaria, Romania. Eastern Europe will fall. Liberate the Greeks. <laughs> We're coming for you, Sparta. Sparti. Good night, buddy. Oh, look, Corinth is in here. Corinthos. Oh shit, I have an idea. We're just gonna we're just gonna reform the Byzantine Empire. <laughs> it's just under Kosovo. <laughs> oh, oh, this is gonna look okay, yeah. We're we're, we're reforming the Byzan the Byzantine Empire. Kosovo. 100 percent Turkey. Get your ass over here. And Italy. Kosovo. Give me. Give me your clapping some major cheeks here. Kosovo. Brown. Mm -hmm. Turkey. Kosovo. Kosovo. Um, and I thought I got Italy to come go to war with me. So Kosovo. 100%. Aha! And you lost the war as well. Oh, shit. Demonstrators are marching in several cities. <laughs> it's, just, it's all Kosovo. It's all Kosovo. <laughs> why do I have? Why? 
What am I doing? I'm back and what the fuck happened? Never sim happened. Peachy is annexing everyone. <laughs> I've been gone for so long, my military appetite is back. Kosovo has reformed the Byzantine Empire. And we're not stopping until all of Europa is under our skin. The correct way to play, play Power and Revolution. I'm back. I came back, and what the fuck did I come and come to the United States of Europe? <laughs> what is my military power? I have a trillion dollar GDP. <laughs> oh, oh, this is perfect. I have a thirty nine percent GDP deficit. Oh God. Hungary is just hiding. We are in a dead end. Fuck you. Rename Kosovo to hell. Ah uh, yes, the, the 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 Roman Civil War begins. The Carpathia. Napoli. We have subdued. We have subdued the rebel movement. We have subdued. We have subdued. What's my military power right now? Three hundred seventy-five thousand with eight hundred twenty-two thousand in reserves. The nationalists are rising. Oh God! It's the Yugoslav wars now. No! Oh! oh no! It's the Bosnians and Herzegovinians. Oh shit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hang on. Frame. Shes for bed. Ukraine. We have a 11.38% surplus. And Russia just fell. <laughs> Come on, Ukraine. Annex them. Annex them. Oh, shit. Guys, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. The fun stream now. This world is cursed. Yes, Kosovo is the Byzantine Empire and Ukraine just won the war. <laughs> Ukraine just won the war against Russia in like three days. Make ISIS win in Syria. Mm. We're just ma we're just making this as cursed as we can, aren't we? Total jihad. Just gave it a terrorist organization, an entire state. What else do we got? Mujahideen. Let's give the Mujahideen some nuclear weapons. Whoever suggested this idea, by the way, um, I'm going to do an actual gameplay in which uh, I actually do what you asked. Um, this is just more of kind of like, you know, a fucky wucky kind of fucking around kind of thing um, because I haven't streamed in a while. Um, so just having some fun.
Does Afghanistan have the Taliban flag? Yes, they do. I didn't take Crimea back. Come on, Ukraine. Why didn't you take Crimea back? I'll take Crimea back. Send in the Kosovo and Navy. The amount of curse the that is in this. Population. Um, 194 million people. Wait, 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 wait. Damn it, I wanted to rename this Constantinople. Can't rename cities. I want to rename my city Constantinople. Fuck you. Should, or should I just, should I move the capital to Rome? What is my capital? Pristine. Make the Taliban win in Libya. <laughs> and democratic forces. Wait. What? The Jihadeen. I don't think this is supposed to work the way it's supposed to work. What's going on? They're just a dependency of the, t of the terrorist organization? No, they're still a federal republic. Kosovo World Conquest. Oh yes, the Kosovo Space Program. Let's go! Yo! Let's go! The Byzantine Empire back into space. Some people are joining this right now, and they're just like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? All right, we're going to do... We're going to spend like 10 minutes doing this, but this is going to be funny. Come on. Come on, don't crash on me. Don't crash on me. No! Fuck, I think it just crashed. Fuck! No! Ah! Oh, shit. It just crashed. It just crashed. No! No, I lost my save! Fuck! No! Kosovo is too powerful for the game. Fuck! I lost it. I lost my Kosovo. Oh my god. No. I think it auto saved. So I think we're okay. It's incredible. All these nations willingly joining our great nation. <laughs> <laughs> I have an idea, real quick. I, I have an idea. The game is self-aware. We're announcing a special military operation into the planet. Wait, no, 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 no. We're gonna do bonus. We're gonna do modding. And we're gonna do create a mod. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna step away. I'll be right back.
Alright, I am back. This game literally killed itself, the name must the game must be Serbian. Where are we going? We're going to Kosovo. We're going to add that modify the world, annex a country. Albania. Andorra. Albania. Andorra. Aruba. Aruba. Jamaica. Ooh, da da. Aruba. Jamaica. Ooh, I want a hada. Yo, da 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 Area, Cameroon, Cape Verde. Cape Verde is going to be the only thing outside of its path. Cayman Islands as well. The Channel Islands as well. <laughs> the most cursed map. <laughs> the <laughs> Kosovo and Martian colony. <laughs> Croatia, Denmark, East Timor, get the Virgin Islands, Chad, and Great Kosovo Empire. If you see any countries that I miss, uh, go ahead and tell me. Estonia, Finland. I was thinking about leaving the Nordics out of it, but I guess not. French Polynesia. Deutschland, Gibraltar will stay. Greece will join us. Granada, Haiti, Duras, Hungary, fuck you. India, Iceland, Iceland will remain independent. Italia. Make Georgia annex Georgia. Let's go ahead and apply that right now and we'll see what countries are left. So, Netherlands. I'm thinking of leaving the British Isles out of it. They'll remain independent. This is more of like a Napoleonic mainland Europe kind of thing. Czech Republic. Swiss, of course. Monaco. Netherlands and Tilly's. The Netherlands. Yeah, I guess we'll forget about Iberia. Republic of Northern Macedonia. Would you guys want to see the official names on Power and Revolution, or do you guys like what they have now? Slovenia, Slovakia, um, Spain, we're going to leave out, Sudan, Switzerland, Sweden, we will take.
Serbia, Bosnia and Herzegovina. Bosnia. Serbia. Romania. Montenegro. So Poland, Lithuania, Norway, Poland, Lithuania, and Norway. Should I get Ukraine and Belarus as well? <clears throat> this is what we have. Of Ukraine, but fuck Belarus. All right. I, I, I want to. I want to see if I can get Kaliningrad. Yeah, so I can click Russia, independence a region. Go to Kaliningrad, give them independence, go back to Kosovo, modify, annex, Kaliningrad, annex, and there we are. I got, I have a Kaliningrad now. Empire of Kosovo. Organizations. North Atlantic Treaty Organization. Fuck off, Jesus. Leaving Moldova alone? Yeah, I guess for right now.
flag needs an update now. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh shit, that's what I meant to do. I meant to I meant to uh, uh, update the flag of Kosovo. What is this? I don't know. You're gonna kill yourself whenever you see this. the Kosovo part, just name it the Empire. The attack on my life has left me scarred and deformed, but my resolve has never been stronger. In order to bring peace and stability to the galaxy, the Republic will be reorganized into the First Galactic Empire to bring peace and security to our society. Don't tell me this thing crashed whenever I'm trying to load the Kosovo and Empire. No, it didn't. It's still loading. They added the pelican back into, uh... Uh... Flight Simulator, and I love flying it. Wait, it's all Kosovo? Always has been, yes. It's all Kosovo. It is all Kosovo. I need an editor so I can have someone just make snippets of this. So this is how Liberty dies. With thunderous applause. Kosovo is too powerful to be left alive. <laughs> The great war between Russia and Kosovo is coming. <laughs> it won't load the Kosovo Empire. It's more alive. It's more than alive. It's immortal. Oh, it's finally saving. Yay! Can we make custom maps? No. You know how fun that would be? You know how many you know how many more mods would be being made? The fuck? <laughs> Did you guys hear that like <laughs> People love conspiracy theories. Neil Armstrong, 1930 to 2012. I remember whenever he died. It's a sad day. That was my phone, I'm sorry, by the way. PG, shut off that anime. We have an empire to protect. <laughs> Let me play the whole thing. Let me play the whole thing for you, guys, for you real quick. 
It's literally like a uh um Hang on. Whoopsie! Oh, we made a fucky wucky! A little fuck a It's a how to basic video combined with like a, like a blue screen of death, except it's some anime girl just saying oopsie whoopsie we made a fucky wucky <laughs> wait i've never seen this one before the situation of agriculture is our alarming beyond the mediocrity of its economic outcome we fig i fear we all have problems with provisioning the country and the desertification of the countryside I think I've seen that before. Let me see. Wait, we just immediately get a famine. There's a conspiracy that Moscow was nuked in 1812. I'm not even joking. Mm. I love that. Apples, $5 billion. What about cereals is the main one? 77. I, I I have no revenue. Total man, just none. There's nothing. This is like the Napoleonic Empire, except on steroids. When Kosovo is size, <laughs> oh, I love this. I should do I should do these like crazy like shitty map gores more often. Hmm. What happens to the European Union? The European Union just doesn't exist. Wait. <laughs> Wait, what happens in the European Union? <laughs> oh, oh my god, that is perfect. Kosovo is the Union. It's literally just Portugal, uh, Portugal, Spain, and Ireland. Sarland. Oh, the Sarland is in here. Nice. Give it to France. Give it to France. Give it to France. Now we're just gonna economically cripple Russia and Britain. Give this region independence. South Norway. Nordland, Troms, Finnmark, greater funding. Hang on, hang on, what's my, what's my, what's my, uh, budget? Oh yeah, I have a country of that many people. Oopsie whoopsie. We're gonna recapture Constantinople. My cat just snuck in here. You don't visit Kosovo. The Kosovo visits you. I'm going to post this on the Steam forums and I'm going to get screamed at. Watch, just watch. I'm going to post. I'm going to post this. And you're gonna see just everyone lose their shit. Average EU, none. Empire of Kosovo. I have zero, I have no income, I have no deficit, no budget deficit, and I have no structural deficit. Glad I don't live near Kosovo now. 
Kosovo's coming for you, America. Again, this looks exactly like the Napoleonic Empire, except it's on steroids. It's like the whole continental system. New stream title, PG takes over Europe as Kosovo and GPS4. Alright, I've been streaming for two hours. I'm going to go ahead and call it quits today. This was fun. Um, if you guys want to, do you guys want to see more Empire of Kosovo? <laughs> uh, oh my god, this was fun. If you guys want to see more, more Empire of Kosovo, go ahead and let me know. Um, I will be streaming and uh, making more videos soon, so look forward to those videos. I'm going to try to get a, a, power, or a Federative Republic of Brazil episode out as soon as possible um, now that my dad is getting better. So um, look forward to that. But guys, go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Join the Discord if you haven't. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching this with me. I'll see you guys in the next Empire of Kosovo if you guys want to see it. I'll see you guys there. Thank you guys so much for watching and take care.